Well, practice um, throughout the season can change, um, obviously in the fall. You know, fall I'm more skill development based. So we're not playing a lot of games and so I really don't um, spend a huge amount of time preparing our team um, for competition. I'm really trying to, to get all of our freshmen on the same page and we're really working hard on developing skills. Um, that's my time if I'm going to change a kid's swing or teach him a new, uh, you know, something different about um, the mechanics of the game, um, whether it's throwing mechanics, whether it's fielding, whatever it may be. That's the time to do it because it allows us to get repetition throughout that time. Once we get back in January, then now it's time to get ready for games. And so uh, from January till the beginning of February, our practices are the foundation of that is a lot of team defense, a lot of team offense, getting our pitchers, throwing the hitters, you know, all the little things that you have to do because, you know, in four or five days, we got another team coming in, sitting in this dugout, ready to play us. And so you want to make sure as a coach, you've done everything to prepare your team. And that's why I like those checklists. You know, I have a offensive checklist, a defensive checklist. Maybe it's because my age, you know, and my memory is kind of bad, but I like to write things down. And that way throughout the fall and spring as I cover things, I know that I can check them off and make sure that something doesn't happen in the game and I'm going, oh crap, you know, we didn't cover it. And um, so I think, you know, if you look at our, how we develop our players, the fall's pretty much skill development. The spring is preparing for games from January to beginning of February. And then once we start playing games, we're off on Mondays, primarily on Mondays. Um, Tuesdays are kind of a light day. Wednesdays are kind of a review, getting ready for the next opponent, you know. And then um, Thursday, we're kind of zeroing in on what we have to do to, to compete against our opponent. We play Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And that becomes pretty regular from February through June. Hopefully, we're playing the last game of the season in June in Oklahoma City. That's our goal. Um, but um, then... The summer months, I like to give our kids a break. After we're done um, with our season, I tell them to get away from the game. Um, I think kids need to have a little rest and recovery. And then um, most of our kids will come back um, in July for um, summer session two. And they'll start getting back into the weight room and getting themselves physically ready. And then we will reconvene um, the day after Labor Day um, and start doing our individual work and then prepare ourselves for about 25 days of teamwork that we have in the fall. And so that uh, kind of is the way things operate around here. Uh, we're limited by NC2A rules to 20 hours a week. Um, we have 132 days of practice that we can actually practice with the entire team outside of that. We get eight hours a week, um, two hours for skill uh, development, six hours in the weight room and conditioning. And so you have to use your time wisely, and that's why I think it's pretty important that you at least have a template or an idea of, of here's where I am today, this is where I want to be, and what I need to do to get there.